Howdy team, hope you're all well and having a good Friday so far. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, I'm in the same boat as you are, especially if you're a mortgage broker. Things are busier than ever. Lead inquiries are not slowing down. They're becoming thicker and faster as the weeks and days seem to be rolling on. And I've got a team of six advisors and one manager. And even we're finding it a little bit difficult. Um, so, you know, I wanna, I'm want i always open, I'm always honest, I'm always transparent. And what I've been talking about this week is trying to help you and advise you in terms of how you can make the most of it. Uh, you know, process is the key. But even though our process is robust, even though in active our systems are robust, we still have a capacity issue at the people stage of business growth. And taking on more people during this COVID environment, we've had two join us. Hunter, stop banging, please. Um, we've had two join us. But the difficulty is just not being able to train on a face-to-face -face basis. You know, having to do stuff over Zoom and Teams and all of that makes it really, really hard. Especially as we're probably 100 leads already this month. Um, you know, each of my advisors, technically, I think, to deal with the types of clients that we deal with, it's one lead a day. And sometimes a push to two leads a day. And we're generating on average 10 leads a day and we've only got three mortgage advisors on a full-time basis. So it's a tough one. It's a really difficult time. But this is where everything that I've been talking about this week is vital that you stick to your service standards, you increase your service standards, you make sure that you do everything you possibly can um, to help your clients but get the best possible result. Uh, good morning, Emma. Good morning, Anish. Come and say hello if you're watching live. And I think it's vital that you review your business. And this is why, even though we are busier than ever, I'm taking the day off. Now, I've had this plan for a while. It was actually meant to go away in about uh, March or April time. Um, my wife and I had our ninth anniversary at the end of March. And we obviously had to rebook the, ho the hotel that we booked because of this whole environment. Um, but it is today. Her birthday is also Sunday. So we've had this planned. But the only way that I will be able to craft a resolution, come up with a solution and come up with a plan is to take a back seat and to look bird's eye view and work on the business rather than being in the business. Good morning, Anish, Jeff, Sarah. It's vital that I start to now review the process that we have in place, look at where we can make those marginal gains, take a little look at some of the diaries. Morning, Beverly. Um, take a look at where the diaries are at, how the things are being managed, what's going on in each of the advisors, speak to them in terms of the problems that they're having, what, how, in, how we can increase their current capacity in order to be able to get more results from the team that we already have in place. And worst case scenario, I'm gonna be working with some of my some of my academy members to pass some inquiries their way because that's you know having the the community that I now have I'm quite lucky and fortunate that I can do that but I would rather than lose the client completely pass it to someone who uses me as their coach and mentor uh, and that's vital as much as you possibly can I would urge every mortgage broker every um, mortgage advisor who is extremely busy to start talking to others who aren't as busy and doing deals on leads. You know, if I can generate more leads than I can manage, over 100 leads in this short period of time this month, then why not help and serve others? You know, that's why my academy exists. I'm not in a scarcity mindset. There's enough collaboration, enough support, enough guidance that we can all do commission splits and share deals. There's enough business to go around, clearly, because everybody is generating enough. And it links into what I said yesterday in terms of making sure that you have processes and systems and everything in place. But why not help other people to help yourself? If you can get 20, 25% on the back end of passing to somebody else, and the client still gets a good level of service, plus you're making sure that somebody else can put food on their table because they're struggling for leads. Doing partnerships with people, perhaps local to you, is a great way to build a business. You work together in collaboration and supporting each other. Morning, Stuart, Carly, Dean, Sandy. 
So I just wanted to give you reassurance in my integrity and my honesty that even as a team of 14, uh, even with the volume of leads that we have coming in, or even with the system that we have in place, the people that we have in place, the process that is massively robust, we are still pushing capacity. And we are feeling, or I am feeling, the same stresses, frustrations, annoyances, anxieties, as you are, even if you're a one-man band with too many, or one-person band, or one-woman band, whatever we need to do to keep it politically correct. You know, my business is in the same position as yours. We are too busy for what we can manage. So you've got the choices of either increasing your service standards, increasing your fees, turning around and telling clients that the next available appointment you've got is the 28th of July, like we're having to, and then looking to do partnerships with people that you know, people that you trust, people who can provide a level of service. I would vet them in terms of how you're going to do the introductions and give them some additional training and how they should manage their first conversations. That's what I'm going to be doing, making sure that the clients get the best possible result. But then take in 25% on the back end of the entire case size. Uh, I think it's a great way to help each other. I think it's a great way to ensure that clients still get looked after. I think it's a great way for you to still um, earn, but also provide value to those clients. Because if you if they turn around and say, oh, well, I'll just go somewhere else, you've lost everything. You know, you've lost any potential chance of anything at all. Whereas actually collaboration, support, community, partnership is what the academy and financial pro is all about so why not work together and stick together to make shit happen um so morning dean morning sandy i hope this has given you some thought processes uh, for those of you that have joined late i am taking today off uh, we're dropping the kids off at mum and dad's they're having them till tomorrow aisha and i are off to a hotel in st albans for the night breakfast dinner afternoon tea gonna chill out go for a walk be nice to have some kids, uh, have some kids, nice to get rid of the kids. Um, and I'm just going to take that opportunity to let my brain think on the business rather than in the business. Because whilst I'm still doing the do, if I was to sit in the office today, I couldn't come up with a solution. I couldn't come up with a plan. And I know that by the time that we finish tomorrow, and my brain's had a bit of time to tick, that I'm going to come up with a plan of action to make us more efficient to increase capacity to have a good time um within the business because i'm still feeling those anxieties frustrations and stresses that you are um, but if you have process issues if you only have one background if you think you could be more efficient and get more done in a day then I think it's vital that you register for the Mortgage Pro Advisor course uh, because that will increase your capacity and make you more efficient uh, and give you more time in which to look at your business and structure your business. And also when you implement systems into your business, it's much, much easier to do so when you have the correct process in place. Recruitment becomes easier growth becomes easier the training is the hard part during this covid if we could get a face-to-face -face, and we're actually planning um to get our three two newest advisors one who's joining us plus the other three into an office on the 30th and 31st of july to catch up to do some training and to make sure that everybody as of august is shit hot so we're taking a back step for a couple of weeks with a view that we're going to come back stronger in August. But I still fear that I'm going to generate too many leads, which is why I need to do partnerships with my mentees and help them to create sales, profit and time because I'm good at creating the leads and I'm not even really marketing that much. So thanks very much for your, all your wishes on my weekend. Um, yes, Sandy, AA. I hope so anyway. <laughs> she would kill me if she had me say that. Um, so... Yeah, I hope you all have a good weekend. Uh, I hope this inspires you. I hope that it gives you reassurance that you are not alone. Um, you can always reach out to me directly. Obviously, if you're an Academy member, then you have the Academy private uh, private um, Facebook group. Talk to each other, help each other, support each other. Check out my post that I've done in there. Um, no, Jeff, I will not be having any more kids. 
just doing the practicing part, hopefully. Um, so I hope you have a, uh, a great day. I hope that if you, um, if you need support, if you need guidance, if you're interested in working with Active, if you've got experience in self-employed, limited company buy-to-lets, um, difficult portfolio structures, then you could potentially work with us. But take the weekend. I, feel I can urge you to do anything. If you're feeling it, take a day off tomorrow. Maybe you can't take it off today, but take a day off. I'm not taking my laptop today. I'm going to take my phone, of course. I'm going to put it on airplane mode for a bit of the day to give myself that opportunity. I'm going to have some fun with the wife and just ground myself. And then a plan will come in. The subconscious brain will find the solution and miraculously everything will become all okay by Monday. So I might not do a live tomorrow. We shall see what we're doing, um, where we are. Might be having breakfast, might be laying in. Um, but I'll share with you as I come up with a solution so that you can implement it into your business too. Oh, and if you want to go to the advisor course and make sure that you get the notifications, we are launching on Sunday. It's the two-year anniversary of the Mortgage Pro community on Sunday, 19th of July. I've got an extra special deal for all mortgage brokers to improve your systems. Um, just go to bit.ly forward slash advisor interest, bit.ly forward slash advisor interest. Um, 25 people have been through it. Our newest two recruits have been through it. Absolutely love it. Um, have a fantastic weekend. Uh, give yourself a chance to be on the business rather than in it. And remember, now is the time to become pro.